looks like we've got a little bit of sun peeking through. Uh, here and there <laughs> throughout very the day. Little. I know, yeah. we, we got to look at the silver lining, especially on tax day. But, you know, at least the temperature is comfortable out there. As a few of the clouds are starting to roll in, but that's going to keep us on the mild side tonight. As we now take a live look over downtown Portland on this Monday evening. Temperatures, though, on the comfortable side. Right now at about 57 degrees, maybe a stray raindrop or two is found over your head, although it's very hit and miss in nature as the winds rather north-northwest at about 5 miles per hour and our sunset inching closer to the 8 o'clock hour. But for your showers past forecast for the rest of this evening, you've got the green bikes to go as those temperatures slide back into the low 50s by about 8 o'clock and those clouds, they will remain widespread, but we will be on the drier side for the most part. As you can see, a few of those hit and miss light rain showers tracking their way from the west to the east, and that's going to be an ongoing trend not only for tonight, but as we work our way into Tuesday as well as the cloud coverage is widespread up and down the I-5 quarter, just the same for the coast and parts of the Cascades. That's going to be an ongoing pattern all the way through about the middle of the week before we get some sunshine back into the mix, but already picking up on one one hundredth of an inch of rain so far today. Not likely to see those numbers climbing just about the same found out along the coast, but we're preparing for some colder, frostier conditions as early as Wednesday morning, even including the Portland metro area. That's where some of our temperatures, thanks to clearing skies, will allow for the mercury to start to drop. That's why the National Weather Service out of Portland going ahead for the Willamette Valley. Much of the coast range, the uh, coast itself and the foothills under a frost advisory. Many of us falling back to about 32 degrees. That's where our sensitive plants are being threatened. So if you have any of those new blooms, buds or blossoms that are starting to grow, you might want to bring them inside. If you're not able to move them, then make sure you cover them with a sheet, a towel or a blanket, or you can even take an empty pot and flip it up on top of those plants to protect them. But this isn't out of the norm for us here in the Pacific Northwest. We've seen our last freezing temperature. The latest ever it was back on May 2nd of 1964, but on average, we kind of put an end to those freezing temperatures around March 25th, so a little past due. But warmer temperatures are on the horizon. This high pressure that starts to build off to the west as we're still graced with just ever so slightly cooler conditions for us as that low exits our region. High pressure building that will be sending many of us back into the 70s, so something for us all to look forward to. As a hit and miss shower potential remains tonight into the start of the day tomorrow. The cloud coverage finally starting to break apart Tuesday night. That's why those temperatures will start to drop come Wednesday morning near the freezing mark, but no need to fear that sunshine will really help to warm back up those temperatures into the 70s. But rain accumulation lackluster. I really think some of these uh, numbers are on the higher end of things with just a couple of one hundredths of an inch possible by the time we get to Wednesday evening, but Wednesday itself going to be on the dry side. So here's your breakdown tonight. 42 degrees, mostly dry, but also mostly cloudy with winds out the north northwest at about 5 to 10. Tomorrow, a mix of sun, a mix of clouds, maybe even the hit and miss shower. It's going to be a rinse and repeat scenario of what we saw today again tomorrow with the winds out the northwest at about 5 to 10. Our seven day forecast does show the sunshine returns as early as Wednesday. So we go from 38 degrees come sunrise, but by the afternoon evening hours, we're talking about the mid 60s and then low 70s Thursday and Friday. Plenty of sunshine to go around. Portland doesn't expect to see its next chance of rain until Saturday. And even at that, only about a 40% chance to see a hit and miss shower as those temperatures stabilize in the mid 60s, which is very typical for us this time of year is the month of April, if you can believe it, already starting to wind down. Yeah, I know it went by so fast, but it what did. a great weekend it was. Folks oh, out beautiful. and about, especially yesterday, Sunday, beautiful. And people going out to the tulip farms, and enjoying yeah. the spring season. It, it was good. Thanks, Josh. Yep. Well, coming up next, the White House says the U.S. will not help Israel fight back against Iran. 